Ah, big sky country, land of the poplar trees. So behind me here, this big one and this little kind of cluster here are black cottonwoods. Then right over here, we have this grove of quaking or trembling aspens. Now both of these are poplar trees, but I wanted to point out a couple key characteristics or defining features between the two. So black cottonwoods have these really thick, durable, waxy leaves. They're really long and pointed at the top, um, pointed at the tip. Uh, and you can see that they have a lot of dark green on the front side of them, a lot of chlorophyll for photosynthesizing. And on the back side, they're pretty pale, white, not a lot of chlorophyll. They don't do any photosynthesis synthesizing there but more interestingly they have a very rounded leaf stalk so as I rotate you can see the leaf kind of turns around uh, in a nice even fashion which means that they're much more um, sturdy leaves versus the leaves on these trembling or quaking aspens here which are much more lightweight paper-like um, rounded fluttery and kind of more of an even green on both the underside and the top because they're able to photosynthesize on the top and bottom of the leaf now the really cool thing about um, aspen leaves is they have this flat leaf stalk here so you can see oh yeah a little bug you can see this flat leaf stalk so as I rotate it it flips like kind of 180 degrees um, each way and so what this does is as the wind blows these leaves instead of being sturdier like the cottonwood trees they actually flip flop back and forth which allows them to soak up more sun on both the tops and the undersides of the leaves so they can photosynthesize more versus the cottonwoods which you know don't do as well when the wind blows they kind of like to have consistent sunlight on just the tops of the leaves and that's a pretty dang cool adaptation um, for these different poplar trees how neat is that wow absolute beauties